So today we're back in SnowRunner with one tough challenge. We've got an awesome snow map where we have to make it from one side of the map to the other in all sorts of weird and wacky vehicles. And if I can complete the challenge, I get to pick whatever vehicle I want to plow across the map. And stay tuned until the end. Hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. Oh man, we're attempting to set out on probably the most impossible thing to do ever here in SnowRunner. I have a map that, you know, it's pretty innocent looking, except for the whole fact I've just got stuck on a twig. It's fine. Yeah, it's a nice little snow map. Yet, this probably has some of the worst uh, slash best trails I've ever seen as far as a snow runner map. So, I got the default Chevy here. We're in all-wheel drive. We're just, we're attempting uh, to make it up this uh, path here. And I think, oh, well, hold on. Maybe we can winch closer. I don't think we're gonna make it very far in this thing, so I'm gonna have to bring out some of the weirdest and most ridiculous vehicles ever uh, to try to tackle this course. Now, just to give you guys an idea how big the map is, we're right here. I would like to get across this map, but as you can see, I don't even know if it's possible. So we're gonna go ahead and move this bad boy over to the side. This is just our little test vehicle, and I've got a couple vehicles in mind that I wanna test out to see if it works out here in the uh, the frozen wasteland. So the first truck we're gonna try in my bajillion mods here is gonna actually be one that yes, folks, it has a plane propeller on it, but it also has sleds on the bottom of it. So I'm thinking this is gonna be perfect for the snow. You know, this might actually work out pretty good. All right, and we're off and okay, this, wow, I don't think I've ever actually dealt with sleds in this game. This feels pretty good it is a little bit glidey uh, this might be a little weird like i would like a vehicle that has sleds on the front and then maybe like tracks in the back because i feel like this plane <laughs> propeller engine thing is this is not good like it's got really weird power and it kind of stays on the power when you let off okay so here's a good question are we gonna get lost immediately um i'm thinking so oh no Dude, look at this. Is this the path or did we just find an opening in the trees? Uh, this is working. Oh, jeez. Uh, you know, I feel like this would be the perfect vehicle if it was snowy, but it had a, like a wide open area. This ain't it though. These trails are too extreme for this. Okay, if I were to pick something, like I can't go grab the biggest monster truck. Like if I grab the mega bus, I'm pretty sure I could drive over half the map, but maybe I choose it at the end. I'm not really sure if I make it. Uh, I need something that's practical. I actually need something a little smaller. Well, I got something that I want to say is like an in-between. It's called the Crazy Thunder 6x6. Is that... This is what Komodo calls in-between. Okay, um, yeah. I don't think we're fitting down the trail. All right, let's go all little drive here. Uh, its climbing abilities are amazing. Like, uh, first class. I mean, but it's massive. There we go. That is what I am talking about. I am already lost. Uh, it'd be nice if I could pull up like a, maybe a mini map instead of having to hit M here. Yeah, we're, wait, is this even a trail? Does it end? No, it does, it goes up. It actually goes up and all the way across, kind of meets at like a little crossroads. So if we get to the crossroads, we know we're pretty much still on the trail. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, okay, are we gonna get stuck here? Hold on, go through. Uh, oh, we're in an opening. Okay, maybe this is the trail once again. Oh, that is a tree. How do we get a tree stuck inside of the vehicle? I'm pretty sure a place like this is where you see those newspaper clippings of people like getting lost in the wilderness and freezing to death. Like that's, that's this place here because I can't see a thing. I don't know where I'm actually going. Yeah, we're stuck. We're in the middle here. If I can in theory swing out just 55 meters uh, that way I could get back to the trail, which would be nice. Yeah, you remember when I said just 55 meters? I made it to the 28 meter mark and I believe we are, we're trapped. I can't get out of this thing. I'd have to back all the way out and I, I think that's once again a challenge failed. This vehicle was very capable of doing this, but Komodo's navigation skills got him lost. So let's try another vehicle, why don't we? Is it illegal just to bring a full-blown bulldozer and just run everything over? Like, between that and the mega bus, those might be two illegal things. Uh, so there's another one I have called the Thor. 
Uh, it's once again a pretty big truck, but I don't... It's not that 6x6, six six, so I think this might actually be good. Plus, it's got a 1,100 horsepower motor. Oh, great. It's snowing. It's only going to get worse here. So, this is a little bit better. Uh, we're going to take the right trail. I don't know what happened to the hood. I thought there should be a hood on this, but no, nah, it's not a thing. Also, I picked the dual stacks, and we're now rolling coal. Um, it's a little hard to see through, not gonna lie, it's kind of aggressive. We are doing it. We're back on our way to make it to the other side of the map. <laughs> Such a simple objective has turned, oh geez, so ridiculous. Look at the, do you even consider this a road? This isn't even a road at this point. Let's go this way. This is a little more open this way. Uh, I mean, it's not cheating. Uh, the objective was just to get across the map. I mean, you never know what we're gonna run into here. Also, we're getting through to almost water wait why would that be here are we near a lake and or like river by the way if, if anybody's gonna ask these are not like stock road tires these do have the spikes in them uh it was rated excellent for snow i know somebody's probably look at that and go the komodo really put some street tires on this bad boy even though they are definitely spinning right now this snow is deep okay there is a slight chance i missed my turn off back there <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna turn it around here. Is this? No, this isn't the trail, is it? No, it says the trail's in front of us and to the left. Do I have to go up on the embankment here? Oh, no. Oh, this might be kind of tough. And all I got are like twigs to pull me up. Yep, this is the trail up here. Hey, look though, it actually pulls up pretty good. Oh boy, this is getting tight. We're going up against trees and stuff now. Okay, yep, this trail is squeezing me. Man, how sketchy would this be in real life? Like, if you were to hit one of these embankments and half the snow decides to collapse down into the, the vehicle, you'd be digging yourself out of here. Uh, it's doing it, though. We're getting through. Look at the back. Uh, the duel's back there. It's just ripping away at it. That is epic looking. All right. Feels like we're at a bit of... No, we're not at a crossroads. Oh, we got to plan the path. Yeah, if we continue straight... This goes almost all the way across, and then it goes crazy. Like, the trail kind of ends. Uh, but this is definitely the furthest we've made it so far. Kind of looks like we've got an opening up here, but definitely the terrain starts to go up, up in this area. So, uh, we're definitely going to be doing some climbing. I'm not sure this vehicle's up for that task. I'm hoping it is. You know, I have 1,100 horsepower. What if I went into high? Okay, high just buries it. Uh-oh, we do not want to go this way. I am lost in the wilderness again. Uh, we got to back it out of here. Yeah, this this whole thing was just not a good idea, I don't think. Uh, here we go. That is the opening I'm looking for. Look at this thing crawl. Like, for some reason, it can go up a hill like crazy, but it gets down to bottoms. It just starts to stall out. I don't quite understand it. Okay, I've been trucking away for like 20 minutes now. Um, I've, I want to feel like we're getting close. Like, I've almost successfully done this. Now I almost want to try this with just some sort of massive, ridiculous vehicle. And then we might have to save some of our other ridiculous vehicles for maybe a little bit more wide open map. Uh, but the challenge of getting across the map in uh, not, not so practical vehicles, I mean, I wouldn't say this is very, uh-oh. Uh-oh. What did I just do? Okay, no, 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 no. No, no, come on, pull yourself out. Pull yourself out. What am, am I not on the trail anymore? Oh, no, I'm not on the trail. Look at that. Look how close we are. We've almost made it to the bottom corner. There's actually a shack over there. 461 meters. That's not that far, but I've gotten myself in a bit of a pickle here. I thought I was on the road. Uh, it's getting dark, getting a little scary out here. Uh, I hope I'm going to be able to make it. I just killed a, a big tree, too. Okay, we need to back up. Supposedly the road. Oh, that's the trail. Yeah, this is, like, these trails are impossible to see. Later that night. Status update. It's getting cold. Uh, it's getting dark. I want my mom, and I'm still 300 meters out because the trail I had to take actually had to take me away from the, uh, end point, uh, in order to actually get to it. Because the trail went up, and then it goes back down. If not, I would have been cutting across. Oh, no. This is all wet through here. What are we about to run into? Oh, I could see the awesome cabin over here. Folks, we did it. And we did it before it got too dark. I'm actually pretty proud. You know, it's so weird. I've been on, like, much bigger trails, stuff on the side of mountains, but this was just straight up tough uh, to get through this map. But as you can see, we've made it to the log cabin. We've made it to, uh, I guess, some fuel. And 
<laughs> this place looks like it's been snowed in for a while. Yeah, we did that. We made it all the way across in this vehicle. So now I get to pick the vehicle I want to, which I have two I want to try. I'm not going to go all the way across. I just want to see how they handle it. So I know I mentioned it. Would it have been cheating to take a bulldozer? And I'm thinking in my head, I'm not sure if it's cheating because I don't think it's actually going to make it across. Oh yeah, this is perfect, right? Um, well, it steers kind of funny. I don't think this thing's got any speed. I mean, it is a bulldozer. Also, the turning on this is a nightmare. This is not meant for trails. Uh, it is doing a good job at digging. I mean, we're plowing all that snow down, but yeah, other than that, this would have been a very, very not practical vehicle. What speaking of not practical vehicles, why don't we use the big bus? Let's just see what happens here. Quack. Holy man. Yep. I think, you know, I don't even have the biggest tires on here. This, this is cheating. This is beyond cheat. Hold on. Let me put the bigger tires. I said I wasn't going to go all the way back across, but I feel like if I have the tuned engine and then we have the monster tires on there, there's no stopping us except for maybe the, the garage. It seems like we might be stuck into that. But other than that, so we're really only, what, 700 meters away? Oh, my. Okay, this is just OP. I mean, it might take a little bit of finagling. Uh, actually, maybe a whole lot. Does the winch work? How does the tree even stand holding this thing up? Look, we're just skipping the trails. It's bad because this is the most efficient thing that we've used. Yep, there's such thing as just being too big in this game. Well, I'm a firm believer that uh, how you use it is the important step. So yeah, that's the path. You could, you could see where uh, our tire marks were. Yeah, we took this path, but we didn't take it in this manner. It's a little trickier almost like down in this valley area because I keep hitting trees and it's trying to tip the bus. But I still don't think we're going to have too much of an issue. There's a big, massive hill in front of us. Uh, I was debating on trying to maybe attempt to take one of the paths or one of the little dip areas or just going over it. You know, let's just go over it. Uh, we've already proved we can make this trail in a normal-ish vehicle. Uh, why not attempt to actually just bulldoze it with the big bus we made it so much quicker like we're you're talking like 25 to 30 minutes compared to like five wait what marker was that oh that is not the final marker that's the final marker i was uh chasing my same paths oh no we only have 400 more meters to go i mean Still think I'm going to make it in record time. Okay, challenge is not over. Oh, don't flip me. Don't flip me. I'm just trying to get over all the trees. I really wish all the trees would fold over when you hit them because I would love to see the path of destruction that I've taken to get here. There we go. We have made it to our destination. The log cabin is ours. Uh, we did it. We murdered everything. 